When it comes to the UFC, wins are a very important part of the organization. It ensures that fighters compete in fair matchups and that the fighters fight in their own weight class. But the use of manual skills also raise a few questions like accuracy, consistency, and human error. In this video, I dive into the problems associated with manual skills. I will highlight their limitations and try to explore potential solutions for a more reliable weighing in process. So sit back, relax, and have some popcorn while you're at it. So how do the skills work, you may ask? Well, the UFC uses manual skills. Manual skills use a mechanical system involving a spring or lever to balance the weight applied on the platform. There's a dial or indicator that displays the measurement, which is read by a user. Basically, the dial or the indicator has to be balanced in order for it to be read accurately. So what's the problem with the skills, you may ask? Well, the main problem is there is a possibility of human error. There's a guy who reads the scale called the human operator and they're responsible for reading the numbers displayed on the scale. However, the operator can misread the scale's dial or make subjective judgments when determining the exact weight. This in turn can lead into incorrect readings and consistency and potentially affecting the fairness of the weighing in process or the fight. But that's not the only issue. Manual skills also require frequent calibration to maintain their accuracy and over time, the tension in the springs or the mechanical components of the skills can change, leading to weight differences. And if the skills are not regularly calibrated or adjusted, the accuracy of the skill can be wrong. Another big issue with these scales and the weighing in process is the lack of standardization. As we all know, the UFC is a billion dollar company and hosts locations and fights all around the world. But issues arise when each event has its own set of rules depending on where you are fighting and also when it comes to the process of weighing in. There's also a need for more protocols when it comes to the type of scales used and the calibration methods during the weigh-ins. For example, the NSAC D has a different rule set compared to CSAC, but it can be even more complicated when it's outside the US, like in Brazil or some other country. Each athletic state commission has the power to establish its regulations and guidelines for the UFC. These can vary in procedures and protocols for weigh-ins and the skills that they use. Some commissions may have stricter rules, while others may be more easygoing. The choice of scale can also affect the precision and consistency of weight measurements. And the calibration standards for scales may vary between commissions. Some commissions may require regular calibration to ensure accuracy, while others may have fewer requirements. You may not know this, but the dues that check the weight of the scale for fighters can have differences in training and experience among commission officials, which can have the impact on the accuracy of the weights. The supply of resources given to the weigh-ins can be different among commissions. Commissions that prioritize athletes' safety and fair competition may invest more in equipment and training to ensure consistent and reliable weigh-ins. There have been many controversies involving the scales. For example, the most well-known instance as of recent was UFC 274. Involving the UFC scales occurred with Charles Oliveira. Oliveira unexpectedly missed weight, causing confusion and speculation about what may have caused the weight discrepancy. After Charles missed weight by 0.5 pounds above the weight limit, the commission gave Charles an hour to lose the weight. But when he stepped back onto the scale an hour later, it was the same. This sparked controversies that maybe something was wrong with the scales. Oliveira also had indicated on his social media platforms that he was on track to make weight. So Oliveira's team blamed the scales used by the Arizona Commission, saying the scales were not accurate. A few fighters also came out and said that the scales were messed up, some of which missed weight as well. This caused Charles Oliveira to be stripped of his belt. So the commission inspected the scale to determine if there was any issue with the scale. And one of the UFC personnel involved in the investigation said that there were no problems that were found with the scale. Another one of these controversies is when Khabib was fighting Justin Gaethje. He was only on the scale for three seconds before a UFC official declared that he made the 155 limit. Typically, a weigh-in official takes more time to allow the scale to calibrate once a fighter has stepped on it. The controversies surrounding Oliveira and Khabib's weigh-ins highlights the complexities and uncertainties involving the process of the weigh-ins. It also shows the importance of accurate and reliable scales to make sure the fairness and integrity of the weigh-in process. So are there any solutions to regulate and try and fix these issues? So there are a few things the UFC can do to fix this problem. First, they should use the same type of scale at every UFC event and maybe start using digital scales, which are known for their precision and it would ensure consistent and accurate measurements. Secondly, they should regularly calibrate the scales to maintain accuracy and the UFC 
can establish rules requiring frequent checks by qualified professionals. They should also have independent verifications by external organization or experts that can add another layer of trust and ensure fair weigh-ins. Maybe even provide training programs for the staff handling the scales to enhance their skills and knowledge regarding proper usage of the scales calibration and error prevention. The UFC should collaborate closely with athletic commissions to create consistent guidelines for the weigh-ins across different locations. Exploring advanced technologies such as sensor systems or computerized weigh-ins can further enhance accuracy and efficiency by reducing human error. By implementing these solutions in collaboration with athletic commissions, the UFC can improve the accuracy, consistency, and fairness of weigh-ins, ensuring a level playing field for all fighters. Let me know what you guys think about these potential solutions and whether you believe that they would be effective or if you guys like the way things are. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and peace.